What is veganism? Veganism is not a diet. Veganism is a moral way of life. It is a duty to urge the animals we share this planet with. Veganism is not a trend. It is not a social club you join and can live there. Because the opposite side supports the thing you are opposing and are against. At least, if you know right or wrong wrong. The culture that dominates cult your of this time is called carnism. It is a brutal philosophy or a way of life that say it is okay to mutilate, rape, commodify and mass murder in extremely amounts of tormental terrorism industries we call slaughterhouses and agriculture and factory farms or in lesser degree mom and pap farms animals are here with us animals don't want to be turned in commodities they don't want to be turned in a burger they don't want to be steak they don't want to be chicken nuggets they want to be not alone they want to be free they want to with to be with living beings they are choose in their life veganism is about justice it is about equality between species the counter movement is anthropocentrism or so i like to call it anthropomania or anthropo supremacy anthropo means man in old greeks so now you know also that how will you feel if somebody uh, when you are social justice activist you are fighting for the black so on the right of blacks or woman and one day one of your members of your social justice movement starts to embrace again um, be racist openly racist and uh, saying black people are inferior or uh, that women are inferior and that women don't have the right to vote and uh, go to KK meetings and go to uh, misogynist uh, rape uh, meetings I think you will be very upset I think you will be angry and scream on the bastards I now choose again to abuse their privilege to uh, exploit other living beings it is not your rights when somebody else have no rights and animals count as other living beings they have a central nervous system connected to a brain in contrary with plants plants can suffer animals can greatly suffer and you only have to look in a slaughterhouse to see how much animals suffer in such places of hell and mass murder aka terrorism Terrorism is the act of bringing terror, violence, intimidation, and bringing in life danger of um, innocent living beings. So it is time for the carnists. The, the majority of the people on this planet do watch in the mirror and look to their own violence. Instead of saying, oh, vegans do that, vegans do that, quah, quah, quah. Think about the victims for a moment. Stop taking the victims out of the scenario. It is S9. You don't have to eat animals. It is absolute a fact. I have not eaten any animal flesh for at least 40 years, people. 
So don't make any excuses. Now are people who have eaten for longer no animal flesh. So don't making stop making excuses. Stop making excuses for things you also don't want, but others make excuses when you are the victim. Because I have learned something in this world. It is unfair to ask for something you are not willing to give. That's the, in, that's the definition of injustice. We always have to try to cause the least amount of harm possible on this planet. And animal agriculture is the biggest cost of environmental destruction. Animal agriculture is the main cost of deforestation. Was the World Bank report of 2060, I swear now, uh, have showed that the animal agriculture industry is responsible for that is 70 to 75 percent of that total rainforest destruction is animal agriculture. Um, cattle ranching. Yeah, that's right. The other uh, 16 to 21 percent um, is caused by growing feed for animal slaves in animal agriculture. Here. Some vegan, some people call a veganism cult, but I should see a society as a cult. We are not the ones who are holding knives on innocent living beings that throat and say and uh, cut them in pieces and sell them to um, indoctrinated people. That are the military neck industry and the people who support those industries. So here I know an evil cult costs extremely amount of mayhem, extremely amount of Carnage. Vegans don't cost any large amount of animal execution. And animals raised for food can always get uh, far more pesticides in their food. Up to sometimes to 20% more. Pesticides can be used on crops growth for animal consumption than crops growth for our consumption. Can we please go a little bit sane again? By the way, if you want to know more about this topic and why I think carnism society as a cult. Check out my video about that. I think you find it pretty interesting. But for now, peace begins on the dinner table. What would you eat on a daily basis? How can you claim that you know right or wrong when you're caused unnecessarily mass amount of suffering to innocent animals? Extreme amount of destructive environmental damage. Check out my uh, video number two um, about why I'm still vegan. Because in that video I explain why animal waste is the main cost of ocean dead zones. Stop making excuses. Stop expecting for things you are not willing to give and get a reality check you are not a victim even if you are mentally unstable i will not make excuses for people who are mentally unstable when they are abused children so i don't wanna make excuses for people who are mentally unstable when they are abused animals with their dietary choices you know the same kind of choices White people in America have in the time of slavery, an Arab man, or Ottoman man, or Dali Sultanan Muslims, not in the time of those 
a just society of us. Be careful for throwing stones in somebody's glass house. People. If you are not the victim, I don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, make fun of their indirect existence. The labor dumps to put dirt in. Say that their life don't matter at all. Say that they can re be replaced. Say that they are disposable. Say that their world, that their whole existence is nothing worth a little bit. And mock their entire existence. Like Hitler, like Gaddafi, like Idem Hamin. Like uh, Hammond, the governor of the South in America in the 19th century. Of all down to their Pacific victims. And so are carnists or non vegans are still doing today with their victims. But when you are the victim or speak up for the victims, now mate, think look a lot different from that point of view. Go vegan. Eat beans, eat lentils, eat dragons, eat tofu, eat rice, bananas. But let the animals out, please. It's stepping in the 31st century, alright. Must one small group of enlightened folk always have to explain to the masses why rape, commodification, murder, and exploitation of innocent living beings is wrong. It will be for once nice when anybody understands justice and equality without discussing and debating this for one hundred or one thousand years of time. Evolve and go vegan.